Welcome to our videos on Online Market Research 101. Our first video is an introduction to how the Internet can help you find the right target market. In this set of videos, I'm going to talk you through how to do online market research. And specifically, we're going to be focusing how to use the Internet as a tool and where to go online to research new markets. In this set of videos, we're not going to be focusing on doing a survey for your customers on an existing market where you may already be doing business, for example. Instead, we're going to be focusing on moving into new markets, whether it's a new business or growing an existing business into new areas. With this, there are some points to bear in mind, and one of these points is, where do these ideas come from? It really depends on what kind of business you want to run and what markets you want to spend time in. Ideas can come from anywhere, of course. Newspaper or magazine articles, something you see in shops as you're walking down the street, anywhere. You may be passing a golf course one day and decide to do some market research online about golf balls. However niche a market that may sound, the Internet is so huge, with an audience for almost anything, and golf balls, with the international reach the Internet has, can be a big market. Another way to describe it might be to say that it's a deep but narrow market. Okay, I've just done a quick Google search for golf balls, and it does appear to be quite competitive, with over 3 million results returned in the main organic results, which are main search results. And then the paid results show quite a few people competing here. And it goes beyond the first page, as you can see. Interestingly, you can see all the related searches for golf balls. So, that was a quick top of my head example. As we're going to be focusing on moving into new markets, there's only one consideration that you really do need to consider, and that's what's known as affinity to the market. Do you have an affinity for the market, or can you get an affinity for the market? That means, do you have any sort of experience or relationship with the market? In the example of selling golf balls online, perhaps you play golf, and if so, that means you have an immediate affinity with the golf ball market. It means you're familiar with it, you understand the mindset, and so on. If you didn't play golf, could you get that affinity? That's really where market research comes in, and spending time in the market, talking to people in the market, and so on. This will be covered later, but if you want to sell golf balls, and especially if you're going to spend a lot of time and money investing in your startup business, you're going to greatly help your chances if you spend time on golf courses. Because the better you know your market, the better you're likely to do. Otherwise, you're just guessing. And guessing isn't very good for the health of a business. So that's what you need to decide. Think about all your interests, your knowledge, maybe your past careers. Do any of those potentially interest you as markets because you already have an affinity for them? Alternatively, ideas that come up for new markets to move into can you get an affinity for those? That will be detailed in later videos. As I just previously mentioned, and I covered looking into your career history, hobbies, and so forth, obviously you would have an affinity for those markets. But I'm guessing that you wouldn't have a business there. That's why those markets would still be new to you as a business person. So, that's a quick intro into what this video set is about. And in the following videos, we'll go a lot more in-depth into what you can do to begin researching markets, collecting information, some little-known ways to do market research online, and so forth. Actually, you may find that once you're through with these tactics, you may have more information than you'll even know what to do with. That's a good thing, of course, but at some point, you'll have to stop your research and make your decision about whether to proceed into that market or not. Just before I wrap up this video, it's worth mentioning that I've mentioned time and money moving into this market, but this could be any size market, 
and you may wish to move into the market at any level you choose. You might want to make some extra money and maybe earn just $500 extra dollars a month, or you might want to move into a market and build a $50,000 a month business quickly. So what you want to achieve is important as well. And that will determine what kind of time and money you're going to spend starting and growing your business, which will in turn influence how long you'll spend researching. Because, of course, the more time and money you need to spend, the fewer chances you want to take.